Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm bringing you guys a Sony Vegas Pro tutorial, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys a few color corrections and using, showing you guys a few different video effects that will help your video improve, the colors will look better, show you guys how to add some brightness in, some darkness, some contrast, and overall colors just to make your clip look better. I'm going to show you guys a few different techniques. I'm not going to go into full depth on these techniques. Uh, whenever you're trying to find colors for your clips, you should be the one uh, trying different things out. You should be the one... Uh, you know, trying a bunch of different ones out and seeing what looks best for you. So I'll allow you to do that, but I'm going to show you guys a few things that work well, or at least work well for me. So as far as just making the clip look better, I'm not really going to go into colors uh, first. Maybe I'll show you guys a few colors out there, but I'm going to go into just things that make your clip look better. So the first one is color balance, or color correction, sorry, color correction right here in your video effects. Usually you're going to want to use the second or the third one. The second one I'm going to throw in real quick here. That's going to make your clip a little bit lighter. And uh, that doesn't really make my clip look better here, so I'm not going to use that one. But the second one, what it does is it actually darkens the clip. Let me put this the best so you guys can see what it's really looked like. So if I were to render the clip right now, it would look like this. And, you know, it doesn't look bad, not too bad, but uh, the colors are a little off and the, they're not the best. So what you would do is you would come into this panel and these three is more colors uh, right now it's on the colors how you want it uh, you can mess around with that I'm not gonna mess around with it but things you want to work on are the saturation or actually saturation I don't really believe in anything so you gonna look on the gamma which gamma I know it does uh, it makes it brighter as you guys can see here it makes it more contrasty and uh, that weird color the more you slide up, the more it lightens up. So that right there actually does not look too bad. The color correction actually looks pretty good. Uh, grain or gain, sorry, I couldn't see that far. Uh, that's basically, uh, you can see it adds a little bit of color like the other one does. So putting it here it actually makes the clip turn out or look turn out looking pretty good. And then offset is another one. So that, that's, that's just huge light. So you guys can mess around with these color correction, uh, see what makes your clip look best and what you believe or think it does. So uh, a few things you can mess around with. The next one you can mess around with is, um, uh, let me find it, it is fill light. Uh, fill light you can use either moderate or strong warm. Uh, as far as moderate goes, it's not too bad. Uh, as you see, it kind of lightens it up a bit. And this also has the same panel where uh, you can or decide which one you want to use and there's smoothness here which is kind of like uh, how smooth you want to do and the more smooth you have it it's going to be more blurry which I mean if you like that and you like a tint uh, of course tints can make it a little darker stand out more which that actually made the clip look a bit, little bit better then uh, strength is how strong you want it to be and the hue is kind of what's light as you guys can see it's on the orange yellow right now say I take it to green the lights just, or the hue of the color and the lights just kind of start to turn whichever color you have it under it does you can't really notice it much but it does do that a little bit so that's another one fill light uh, can make your clip look better uh, let's keep scrolling down actually did I miss one up here I think I did maybe I didn't no, we'll just keep going down um, so the next one I want to show you guys is sharpen now sharpen is not really one for colors and not really one to make the colors look better but I run sharpen on almost every single video I render and bring out and it sharpens up the quality a little bit and uh, we just loads up here let you guys can see it oh, I guess I already did yeah uh, sharpen what it does is it makes the clip look a little bit, little bit sharper and if I put up here you can tell it, it does make it look sharper so I do not run HD quality so you know that a little sharpness makes the clip look better overall so sharp uh, sharpen is also another one you might want to look into it, it does like I said with the others this one has another um, slider you can slide back and forth to use and um, it's it's very easy to use. I usually just use medium if you don't really want to mess around with it. Oh, I know the one I forgot up here. Uh, the other one is brightness and contrast. Now, this one it can really help your clip if it's looking dark, which I'm going to go back to the beginning of this where this clip looks a little bit darker. And uh, say you can pick any preset. I'm just use the very, I just use the brighter one in a second. But you can see there's a lot of presets that you guys can use. So I'm going to use brighter and I throw it on it. And as you guys can see, that's bright. It just added this little extra white haze to it, which I don't really want. So what I'm going to do here is with the sliders, I'm going to up the contrast a little bit. And as you guys can see, it has a little light factor now, but I added a little bit of darkness. So contrast and brightness, you have to kind of move together or in the same manner in a kind of way. You have to move it around, and eventually you can add the clip look uh, really good, and it'll turn out looking a lot better. 
and I don't know if there's any one. I think there's one more down here. Uh, we'll check. No, sharp is the last one. So those are just a few things that I use and I find very effective when trying to fix the colors of my video and trying to fix and uh, make them look a little bit better and look um, uh, just turn out better when you render it. So as far as colors go, if you guys are gonna use colors, you're gonna want to use color balance. Color balance. Um, I mean, like I said. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of doing the whole colors with my stuff. I don't really make videos where I need to put color in. But if you guys want to do like a color, color balance, you can mess around is also another good one. Color curves works re really well. And color correction, uh, if you guys scroll down, you can see there's a lot of presets with color. And those are the only three I ever really use or look at for color. I mean, there's there's plenty of effects. If, I mean, you guys can see me scrolling down here on the left. There's plenty of effects. I mean, there's a bunch of different things you can try. But this is a few different effects that I find very effective when trying to fix the color and use color correction and stuff like that. So that's it, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have any other Sony Vegas Pro tutorials that you would like me to do, leave me a comment, and I'll try to take care of that and teach you guys how to do that or whatever. So that's it. Just want to thank you again, once again for watching. Take care, and I will see you guys later.